In this video, we are going to see about serial adder. Serial adder in the sense will add one bit by one bit. So, operations in digital computers are usually done in parallel because they are faster mode of operation. Obviously, when we perform the operations in parallel, it will be very fast in comparison with the serial operation. Serial operations are slower because data path operations takes several clock cycles. For each uh, bit, we have to give one clock pulse. If it is parallel, all the operations in a single clock cycle, it will be completed. But serial operations have the advantage of requiring fewer hardware components. That is cost wise if you see serial operations will be better. But performance wise if you see parallel operations will be better. So it depends upon the application whether we have to consider parallel operation or serial operations. So this is the circuit for uh, serial addition using D flip flop. So if you see shift resistor A and shift resistor B we are taking. So what happens here? Shift control should be 1 because these are the shift resistors. Clock signal should be given because flip flops are involved in this. And now both shift control and clock signals will be ended and given as a clock pulse for D flip flop. Because clock pulse is required but shift control is not required for D flip flop. But because D flip flop should be synchronous with both the A and B resistors, we are giving this AND gate connection as a clock pulse for the D flip flop will have some value in resistor A and some resistor B. So, LSB of A will be given as the input X. LSB of B will be given as input of Y. Initially, the D flip flop value will be 0. So, Z will be 0. So, adder is a combinational circuit. So, as soon as you give one clock pulse, LSB of A comes to X, LSB of B comes to Y and Z value will be 0. So, addition will be performed, x plus y plus z will be performed, sum and carry will be generated. So, the sum will be uh, will be just as an input to your shift resistor A. And then, the carry will be input to your D flip flop. Now, when I give the clock pulse, whatever the input of uh, shift resistor A will become MSB of resistor uh, A. LSB will be input of x. Here, uh, serial input we can give in order to load some data if we want to go with the shift resistor B. LSB of B will be going to Y and whatever input we have given that is previous carry is generated as an input to the D flip flop will be the next input for Z. So now again we will generate the uh, sum and carry. So the process repeats until we complete the addition of A and B. So if we consider 4 bit resistor 4 clock pulses will be required in order to complete the addition of 4 bit values and if it is 8 bit resistor we have we require 8 clock pulses to complete the serial addition. This is a circuit for serial addition using D flip flop. Serial addition using JK flip flop. Serial addition circuit can be constructed using normal sequential logic design procedure also. Let us see how this is happening. So present state we will consider here that is input carry and uh, inputs will be considered as x and y which will be the inputs from your shift resistors and next state will be the carry output and sum here so what happens here so 0 0 0 we are taking this is nothing but the truth table for your full adder so this is uh, x y and this is your input carry this is output carry and yes so if you see we'll take q of t and q of t plus 1 and obtain the values of JQ and KQ using the JK excitation table. So if you say 0, 0 here, we'll get JQ as, we'll get JK as 0x. Again 0, 0, 0x. 0, 0, 0x. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1x. 1, 0, x1. 1, 1, x0. Similarly, for the last two also, 1, 1, x0. So get the expressions for JQ and KQ. We'll get JQ as xy and kq as x bar y bar. So we can just write it as x plus y whole bar. Sum also we have to get the expression. So sum we already know for full ladder expression x x or y x or q. The circuit diagram goes like this. Shift resistor A and B outputs will become x y. Uh, we have just now seen x x or y x or q is 
S. S is uh, obtained using XOR gate. X, Y are the inputs for your J. So X and Y is connected using AND gate and connected to J input. X plus Y whole bar is K. So we are connecting using NOR gate. And uh, as we have seen before, shift control and clock input should be ended and given as a clock pulse for the JK flip-flop. Clear input is given in order to make the clear uh, flip-flop bit initially to be zero. So this is how we can uh, design serial addition using JK flip-flop.